say here and I want to go back to the power of trills because trills are an essential component in your blues and boogie woogie armory trills trills and more trills and if you go to the come over here camera person I've got the badass boogie on the on the piano I've got half of it turn to page 13 and this is kind of boogie woogie stomp and if you go down to the bottom can you see where my finger is here can you see that trill that that TR sign there with the kind of squiggly line can you see that that means trill it and if I play it I'll just play that bar it looks like this and then it goes off so I'll just do that one more from that little a quaver there up to those three semi quavers with the left hand it that would sound like this now forget about the music for a second but if you've got the music it's on page uh, 13 it's on page 13 of the bat the BBB <laughs> Come around to the right hand camera person and I want to see if you can practice this little trill. Because I don't think we've done a trill like this before. It's got the left hand to boogie woogie song which we've done. It's If you don't know the left hand it's look at lesson, I think it's lesson three of how to play amazing boogie woogie piano if you want the left hand to this lesson. And I want you to practice this kind of trill, it's like, this, like that. So what you do is you get your third finger and your thumb and you go start on, start on the A and play it with the left hand. I'll do that again. And then, it, and then it carries on to the rest of it. But I want you to practice that trill because it's a really good piano technique to get your fingers nimble and fit and quick. And it's a kind of trill we haven't really done before. We haven't really focused on it in, in detail. But it's a very good piano technique to get your, your hands limbered up and to get your to get you very, very uh, nimble and live. L-I-T-H-E. That's a good word, isn't it, camera person? Wonderful. Okay, do you feel your vocabulary is increasing since? Well, I knew that word anyway. Oh, did you? Yes. Okay, what does it mean? It means kind of supple and, and graceful. Oh, I'm very... Like an athlete. Okay, well done. Oh, okay. You don't you, you don't look very impressed. No, I thought the world done was a bit sarcastic. Oh. I know that word. Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. carries on. Um, th as I said, that's on page 13 of the Badass Boogie Bundle right down at the bottom and it's an extract from um, uh, Boogie Woogie Stomp, nearly forgot the piece. Boogie Woogie Stomp. And it's a great way of getting your fingers lim limbered up and nimble. And for those of you who are interested in classical music and trills or have problems with trills, I suggest you listen to uh, Beethoven's Waldstein, um, spelt W-A-L-D, it's like Waldstein, but it's pronounced in Waldstein, W-A-L-D-S-T-E-I-N, the Waldstein, the Waldstein Sonata, the last movement of the Waldstein Sonata. They are the most amazing trills that you've ever heard on, on the planet, and they are trills, in fact, just like this. <laughs> Skills, I'd probably put an, uh, an extract from the Waldstein Sonata on right now, but uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. But if you if you if you're interested in trills and the whole concept of trills and technical finesse and your technical ability, listen to the last movement of the Waldstein Sonata, and particularly listen to those trills because they are very very similar to the trills in Boogie Woogie Stomp. As always, give me your questions and comments. Press the like button. Make sure you've downloaded the Badass Boogie Bundle, and I will talk to you very soon. Soon.